I'm talking today about the binding linens, and that comes from uh, John chapter 11, which is a fantastic chapter to read. It starts off in Bethany, which is about a short journey from Jerusalem. And Jesus was teaching in Jerusalem, and messengers came from Mary and Martha, names that you will recognize from other stories in the Bible. And they said, Lord, the, the man you love is ill, speaking of their brother Lazarus. And so Jesus did what anybody with a sick friend did. He waited. He didn't go. He said that the Son of God had to be glorified in that moment. And so he and the disciples later went to Bethany. The disciples knew that Lazarus probably had died, and one of them even suggested, No, Lord, don't go. But Jesus went anyway. He said there are 12 hours in the day, and if you travel only in the daylight, you'll never stumble. Jesus and his disciples went to Bethany, and they, as they were a ways off, Martha came running to them and said, Lord, Lazarus has died. And she was full of sadness and despair and trying to find any bit of hope she could cling to. Trying to bind to her anything that she could be positive about. She said, Jesus, if you had only gotten here a little earlier, I know you've healed people. You probably could have saved Lazarus too. But we're happy to have you and to have you with us in this really sad time. She was in the depths of despair. Jesus joined her and he wept. The shortest, most poignant verse in the Bible, Jesus wept. And then he said, roll away the stone. And Martha let the practical side of things um, show through. She said, oh Lord, don't do that. He's been in the grave for several days now and surely he stinks. His body had already been dressed with the spices and everything, and the stone had been put in front of his sepulcher. But Jesus said, no, roll away the stone. And so they did. And instead of going in and paying final respects, Jesus called Lazarus out of the tomb. And Lazarus came out wrapped in the binding cloths and the spices that they used to prepare a body for burial kind of came out staggering under those restraints, and Jesus said, release him, because he wanted to see his friend, who was not dead, who was alive, and to show everybody the hope that they had in him, that they had in Jesus, was not unfounded. And this was such a powerful miracle for the people of that time, that later, when the Pharisees plotted against Jesus, they also plotted against Lazarus. There are a lot more stories about Lazarus and Martha and Mary. But this one is one that takes us from despair to hope. From being bound and feeling like you can't change anything. To being loosed and living into the freedom that that hope, that outrageous hope you might have in God, frees you to receive.